Hey guys, Aaron Farmer here with my Sugar Free Journey. It's time for Weight Loss Wednesday and I realize I'm recording this on Thursday, so you're, you're not going crazy. It is a day late. I've just been so busy. I've actually had this post written for like the last two days and I, I haven't been able to record the video until just now. So as of this morning, I'm at 231.8 pounds, which means I've actually gained a few pounds since last week. Um, and this is exactly what happened the last time I tried out carnivore for a month. I lost a lot of weight at the beginning and it kind of slowly creeped back on. Um, although it's, it's certainly not creeping back up very much. And, uh, so, but I don't want to talk about that. What I want to talk about is the big thing that happened to me this week. The, the thing that I'm still trying to wrap my head around what I did, how I did it and figure out if this is permanent. I think it's permanent. I think it is. I think it's permanent. I think I've done an amazing thing. So, uh, just to give you a quick recap, on the 1st of July, I started, or June, this is June, right? Yeah, 1st of June, started my carnivore experiment, and part of the carnivore experiment was no Coke Zero. I'm addicted to Coke Zero. I love Coke Zero. Can't get enough of it. And the first 10 days of my experiment went the way every other time I've tried to quit Coke Zero has gone, which is <clears throat> I don't drink it for a little while, and I crave it just crave it and and so for the first 10 days i'm just craving 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 coke zero like every day i'm just oh, you know i wish i could have a coke zero i'm waiting for that thing to go by well on, on day 10 i just crack like i just crack i drink every drop of coke zero in the house i go to the store i get more coke zero i drink that i just drink it i mean oh i just I drink so much. I probably drank three liters of, of Coke Zero in that one day. I just, you know, it, it's an addiction. You know, <clears throat> I just, it's it's a part of me. Well, the next morning when I weighed myself, I had gained, uh, I forget, I forget the exact number now, but I gained like three or four pounds. I had not changed anything else about my diet, and I had been losing weight pretty steadily on the carnivore diet. The only thing I added was the Coke Zero, and I gained three or four pounds the next day. So this, for whatever reason, made a, a light bulb go on in my head. I had always kind of suspected that drinking Coke Zero, even though it's a zero calorie, you know, food and or drink, and, and it it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be something that, you know, you can drink on the ketogenic diet. I had always kind of suspected that, at least for me, that Coke Zero was stimulating insulin. Well, as soon as that happened, as soon as I saw that weight gain, I, to me that was proof positive that, um, that that's exactly what was happening, is that I was, is that Coke Zero stimulated insulin and caused me to gain weight. Because I hadn't, I wasn't doing anything else, I wasn't you know, adding more insulin or adding more calories to my diet, I just gained weight. And it wasn't because I had, you know, three liters of coke in my gut you know it was it was the next morning <clears throat> um and for whatever reason as soon as i saw that as soon as i saw that coke zero was for sure making me gain weight all desire to drink coke zero is gone and now what is today it says the 20th so now it's been another 10 days since that's happened i have not wanted coke zero one bit i've never gone this long without wanting coke zero it that addiction, for whatever reason, appears to be gone. It just appears to be not that big a deal anymore. Um, and there was something about that idea, something about that knowledge that Coke Zero was causing me, causing me to, you know, stay at 240 for the last <clears throat> however many years. And it wasn't until I cut Coke Zero out of my diet that I started losing weight. And as soon as I added Coke Zero back into my diet, I started gaining weight. Something about that revelation, something about that idea, seeing it in the hard numbers from these experiments, it made my addiction go away. I just I just don't have it anymore. I don't want Coke Zero. Um, I mean, if you put it in front of me, I'd probably drink it. Um, you know, like I, like I don't have, what I'm trying to say is I don't have an aversion to it. But I don't want to drink it because I don't want to fall back down that rabbit hole. It's... You know, I would have paid money <laughs> to have somebody put put this idea in my head five years ago when I started this. I could just never break that addiction to Coke Zero. Um, it appears to be gone, and I'm so happy. It's I'm so happy. So now with the black coffee I drink in um, 
in the morning and um, the fact that I don't drink Coke Zero, my sweet tea, my you know, my tea with, I put sweet and low in it <clears throat> at, at, at the end of each night. That's the only sweetener I have in my in my diet right now is, is the, the tea that I drink at night um, before I, you know, for dinner. That's exciting. That's, that's, a, that's a big deal for me. That's a big deal for me. So, uh, anyway, this video is already six minutes long. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, do me a favor, subscribe, hit the like button, and, and you know, come over to the blog and say hi. I love talking to you guys. I lo absolutely love talking to you guys. But I am excited, so stay tuned next week, as, you know, uh, and we'll see if, if this continues for another week. But it looks like it is. It looks like it is. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.